huge traffic goes at this moment under uh, the smartphone. And ITU uh, summarized 15 to 30 uh, times uh, mobile data traffic growth in uh, the next five years. In local network, we expect about 12 times, 12 times uh, traffic growth uh, from 2001 to, to uh, 2011 to 2015. In addition to this traffic growth, operators must prepare for the unusual traffic uh, explosion, such as like last year, the earthquake in Japan. And you can see this uh, graph that uh, data traffic, uh, voice traffic uh, in Tokyo is extremely increased on March 11. It's about two hours. And the uh, traffic volume, about two hours, is about 50 times. And voice broken probability is 95%. So it's about only 5% traffic that voice is success. So as an infrastructure company, we must prepare for this kind of situation as well, this high capacity case. So the most important for next future mobile network is to have the high capacity and the robustness and the flexibility under any conditions. We just assume this uh, current uh, capacity here is very small uh, cube. For the next five to ten years, we need to have such a very big cube. In order to increase this capacity, we have three technical approaches now. One is spectrum efficiency, and we use like a advanced antenna technology such as machine mining and 3D beamforming. The other is the spectrum extension. Spectrum extension use higher and wider bandwidths, like 3.5 kilohertz. <coughs> the higher network density will deploy many, many small cells to increase the capacity here. And this cube is based on three dimensions we can improve. But in addition to that, we will not forget traffic offloading. And traffic offloading can be achieved by Wi-Fi technologies. So what is the next like mobile technologies? So here I just show the evolution of next LTE. After 3G, LTE and LTE advance are standardized. And LTE is now being deployed in many countries, including here and also in Japan. Last two days is Monday, this, this Monday and Tuesday. We discuss next LTE uh, technologies in 3GPP standardization for this. It's called like release 12 onward. This release 12 onward, uh, what we call like LTE B and LTE C. The main the scope of this uh, release 12 will include a wide area network as well as local area network enhancement. However, we believe that enhancement local area technologies is one of the key features for LTEB. So, uh, many uh, enhanced like, uh, local area technology have been discussed in the last two days. I just introduced one of the like, examples what we call phantom cell concept. Phantom cell concept uh, has two layers. One layer is macro cell, and macro cell will support 
good connectivity as well as uh, good mobility. Phantom cell layer provide the higher data rate and flexibility to the mobile terminals. <clears throat> and this too is a very important to improve our capacity in 2015 to 2020. So small uh, cell technology, including managing too many of these uh, cells, will be our next uh, important challenge, technical challenge for LTEB. And the small technologies will be, we believe, that, that can be achieved together with also macro cell. So, this is my end of talk, and then thank you for your attention.